Manchester United giving excitement with one hand and taking away with the other. Just as soon as we've had news that we've agreed a verbal deal with Christian Eriksen to bring him in as a second, probably official signing after Tyrell Malasia, we're having to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo not only leaving, but Cristiano Ronaldo and Chelsea. After an update from David Ornstein that Chelsea, they want to sign him. And I'm going to run through that. Well, run through the news with you. My opinion on the whole thing, because of all the things that Eric Ten Hag didn't need this summer, this is probably right up there with the worst of it. It is the last thing we need, not only to be hearing that Cristiano Ronaldo wants to leave Manchester United, the idea that Chelsea could be the club that sign him. Let me run through the article here from David Ornstein, and then we can talk about it. Chelsea are considering a move for Ronaldo amid the forward informing United he wants to leave the club this summer if a suitable offer arrives. I'm not sure I'd consider Chelsea a suitable offer. Uh, United currently insists Ronaldo is not for sale, but the 37-year-old has made his desire clear to depart and did not return for pre-season training. Fabrizio Romano here saying, look, from what he's been told, Ronaldo not being at training, that really was due to personal reasons. And let's not hope it was, because we don't want it to be personal reasons. We don't want him and his family to be completely okay. But it doesn't look good. If we're being cynical about it, it looks like he avoided training for this particular reason. The Athletic revealed last month that new co-owner Todd Bowley held a recent meeting with Jorge Mendes where a switch to Chelsea was being discussed. And it's those conversations, this is the important part here, they've continued. With Bowley and his fellow director thought to be intrigued by the concept of recruiting Cristiano Ronaldo. New owner, new American, is it American? I think he's American. New American owner comes in, looks at Ronaldo, sees the commercial value. That will basically be the exact same reason that Manchester United brought him back. But last last fucking summer right we had to deal with this we had to deal with seeing pictures like that we had to deal with seeing the idea and having doing videos on the idea of Ronaldo going to City we know what happened Man United came in over the top we got him he didn't go City and now this summer we're gonna what is it the same goddamn thing but it's Chelsea instead I mean what the fuck what what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to think Ronaldo when he returned to Manchester United it was it was iconic. He d he did return, scored two in his, in his on his second debut against Newcastle. Had an up and down season, but ended on like 23, 24 goals in a massively disjointed team. But now we've got to sit here and have conversations about could he join Chelsea? What would that do to you? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. What would that do to his legacy for you as a United fan? What would it mean to you if next season Ronaldo was there? Playing for Chelsea in the Premier League. Well, first and foremost, it would mean the fucking Glazers sold to a direct rival and a name like Ronaldo. I think that's pretty unforgivable, being completely honest. And if you're looking at options for Ronaldo, this is where the plot thickens, I suppose. This is from The Athletic here, saying that on the face of it, Chelsea is his only option in England. Whether Thomas Tuchel wants him or not, that's something else to be considered, which I will speak about later in the video. Going down here, talks about the return to the Liga, which I don't think so because he's not going to go to anywhere else apart from Real Madrid because of his legacy there, and Real Madrid won't re-sign him. Talks about going back to Juventus. Oh, that's not going to happen. Talks about Napoli. Really? Is that going to be the place where his ambition gets met? By Munich. That's the, that's the club I sort of thought made sense. But apparently, Bayern Munich aren't interested in him. How has this happened, eh? It's almost like signing Cristiano Ronaldo here. That's Fabrizio Romano's tweet from last summer. Almost like it was a short-term strategy. And it was never part of a long-term plan at Manchester United. Resign signing a 37-year-old player, doesn't matter who that player is, is never part of a long-term strategy. It was an opportunistic signing for Manchester United to bring back one of the most iconic players ever. And to imagine that he's going to go and join that team there. They did that against in the Champions League final. That hurts. That does hurt. I tell you what, it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much as the idea of that. That felt like... Brrr. If he had joined City and, and become their crown jewel last year, I mean, they won the league anyway, so it, it kind of didn't change too much there, but they probably would have won the Champions League if they had Ronaldo, and they would have stormed 
the Premier League if they had Ronaldo. What sort of impact do you think he would have at Chelsea? Do you think he would join Chelsea? Because it ultimately, it would be down to him. In the same way that Paul Pogba could have gone to City this summer, he decided against it. He's gone back to Juventus. Weird. But Ronaldo to Chelsea. I'm not really sure how it makes sense for Chelsea. Look, uh, Jacob Steinberg there. Uh, is he right for, is it the Guardian? Yeah, right for the Guardian. Look at that. Knowledge. Uh, if you've got rid of Lukaku because he doesn't fit the system, I'm not sure Ronaldo is the solution. And I think a lot of Chelsea fans would agree with that. But Ronaldo was never the solution at Manchester United. Ronaldo was Cristiano Ronaldo. And if you've got a new American owner in Todd Bowley coming in, he's looking at Ronaldo with the exact same glistening, money-driven eyes that the Glazers looked at Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to us. That is the only reason. It's not the only reason that we did it. But it was the main reason. And it's just, well, I'm, I'm here and I want to fucking talk about looking forward, looking ahead. Ten Hag's first season, the preseason plans, the new signings coming in, a new beginning for Manchester United. And now we've got to have a conversation about Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea. The year after we had to have a conversation about Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe going to Man City. I mean, it goes to show where Manchester United are as a football club at the moment. One thing I said here, right? I said this. Cristiano Ronaldo, what we're hearing is that he's questioning the ambition of the club. All right, cool, man. I want to hear it. I want to hear Ronaldo call him. Imagine Ronaldo called the Glazers out. I mean, that's probably a pipe dream. They'd probably fucking make him sign an NDA, an NDA so he couldn't do that, even if he did leave. But I know he has every right to question the ambition of Manchester United. But if you're questioning the ambition of Manchester United, you can't then see us sell Ronaldo to, to Chelsea. We're talking about ambition. That goes right. It's putting, us, it's putting an extra hurdle and speed bump in front of us that we've laid ourselves. But Chelsea, man, you want to have a conversation? All right, throw in and go to Kante. I don't know. We can have a conversation about Timo Werner if you don't want him either. I mean, he's probably he's the sort of versatile forward, I think, that could probably improve at Manchester United. But... What's your reaction to all of this news? Let me run through the article again for you there. This is coming from David Ornstein confirming here that Chelsea are considering a move for Ronaldo. So it's a talking point. I've already spoken about Ronaldo and leaving and what my, my feelings towards it all now. But really, when you think about it, if he's going to leave Manchester United and he's going to stay in the Premier League, there really is only one place he's going to go. And that is Chelsea. Doesn't make sense. Liverpool, they've already signed an elite striker. City, they've already signed an elite striker. Arsenal, they've just spent 45 million on a striker. And Spurs have Harry Kane. Chelsea is the only club inside the Premier League that Ronaldo could realistically go to. You know how Pogba didn't have many options? The same applies to Ronaldo. It's whether or not you think United would sell to Chelsea. We stepped in to stop this from happening, right? Because we saw it as an opportunistic signing. And it was an opportunistic signing, but it was never part of any long-term strategy. It threw Man United's plans out for that season. And right now, Ronaldo and leaving is forcing change to our preseason plans for the second year in a row. And Chelsea. It stings. It really stings. As a, it, 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 it's, it's nowhere near on the level of legacy tarnishing moves as City would have been had he gone there but I tell you what a lot of United fans wouldn't give that wouldn't wouldn't forgive that sorry and I could completely understand why forcing a move out of Manchester United in a summer where we really have so much to do and we're struggling a little bit but it's down to his own ambitions right and it's down to his own I mean he's an individual he's the greatest individual greatest goal scoring individual ever anyway but it, it doesn't sit right with me, the idea of him and Chelsea. But may well be what happens. Because as David Ornstein confirms right there, Chelsea are not only considering a move for him, talks are still ongoing between Todd Burley, the new owner of Chelsea, and Jorge Mendes. And clearly, something's going on behind the scenes. We, were not going to reach, we wouldn't reach this point. There's no smoke without fire. That's exactly what this situation is. I want to know what your opinion is on Ronaldo. And more importantly, Ronaldo to Chelsea. And no doubt there's going to be Chelsea fans watching this video and absolutely loving the idea of it. Maybe not Maybe all of you, not all of you would. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Any United fans or any Chelsea fans, I suppose. Would you actually want Ronaldo? 
would you put him in the same category as Lukaku as a striker that maybe didn't exactly fit that Thomas Tuchel system? From that to that, just not the circus United need. It really isn't. 